Conservative new media viewers, Jeremy Lin, fans around the world, Charlotte Hornets fans around the world, what's up? It's me, PFE, Paul F. Villarreal, the NBA expert. We're here to discuss the Charlotte Hornets 98-86 defeat tonight to the Indiana Pacers in Fort Wayne, Indiana. It is the final preseason game for the Hornets. And they, it was the first loss of the preseason. That drops them to 7-1 and one for the exhibition season. And this game was pretty much the Hornets resting many of their players or playing them a short period of time. So that being the case, I'm really it's difficult to get upset about this game in terms of the, the Hornets losing it. Now, the Pacers are a good team. The Pacers are probably a team that Charlotte's going to have to compete with in order to secure a playoff spot in the 2016 postseason. So it was a good matchup. The Hornets, like, excuse me, the Pacers, similar to the Hornets, are changing their offensive system. They're going more into the faster tempo, smaller lineup, more shooting system. And so as the Hornets are changing their own system, and so that's kind of what you saw tonight is two teams in transition with their styles. Uh, What I liked about tonight's game was I really liked the way that Frank Kaminsky played, 19.6 rebounds. Also, Troy Daniels played well. Tyler Hansbro played well. Cody Zeller played well. And Kemba Walker returned from the left heel injury that he had. He performed well in limited action, just 15 minutes. I think the reason why, or one of the reasons why Charlotte lost the game was for a rare time this preseason, they were outperformed from the three-point line. Indiana hit nine three-pointers compared with Charlotte's seven. Indiana also got more free throw attempts than did the Hornets. Additionally, the Pacers out-rebounded the Hornets, and that made a difference as well. They also really crushed them in fast break points. But it's it's hard to make too much of this because sitting out for the Hornets were Jeremy Lin, Al Jefferson, Nick Batum, and Marvin Williams. I know those four were out. There might have even been another. Well, Jeremy Lamb's out because he's hurt. And there might have been another one or two players who missed this game as well. So it it kind of was one team more at full strength versus another team that's not at full strength at all. The prime interest in this game for the Charlotte Hornets, in my opinion, was don't get hurt. And let's see if Kemba's healthy which he appears to be, which is great news. And let's let's give some of the younger guys and guys a little further down on the roster, let's give them a chance to kind of show what they can do. Also, somebody that I thought performed fairly well, and this, this could be significant for the final roster spot, was Damian Wilkins. Now, I kind of have it in my head already that the final roster spot on the, this team – which is probably going to come down to Elliot Williams, Damian Wilkins, or Aaron Harrison. My own belief is that Damian Wilkins is going to win that roster spot just because of what the team needs with Michael Kidd Gilchrist going down. But if there was any confusion or uncertainty about that, I think Damian Williams performed the best of those three players tonight and may have solidified his hold on that spot. So uh, certainly we, we, we're we happy for him if he ends up being the person who gets the roster spot. I, I have no inside information, so I don't know that, but that's kind of what I think is going to happen. And so as we said, this concludes the preseason, the 2015 preseason for the team which means that the next time that the Charlotte Hornets play, it will be for real. It will be meaningful. It will count in the standings. And that game will take place next Wednesday, October 28th, against the Miami Heat in Miami, Florida. That's going to be a tough game. The 
schedule for the Hornets early on is pretty difficult. The first four games are against teams that are considered to be strong rosters in the Eastern Conference. Miami, Atlanta, Atlanta again, and then Chicago. So it's not going to be easy to start off. I still haven't heard anything about what the starting lineup is going to be on opening day. Is it going to be Jeremy Lin at shooting guard? Is it going to be P.J. Harrison? Is it going to be Nick Batum at shooting guard at Marvin Williams at small forward? Not really sure right now, so we'll just have to stay tuned for updates. And once we hear anything, we'll certainly pass it along to you. But the Miami Heat, they've looked, they don't shoot the ball that well. That's one thing I'll say about Miami. They don't, they could, they have a lot of athletes. They're tough on defense. They're deep. They're, they have championship level players in Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosch. But their shooting might slow them down a little bit. So I'm sure Charlotte will be the underdog in that game. And But I think the Hornets will have a good chance to compete and possibly get the win if they're able to hit some outside shots and play good defense. So we are less than one week away now from the beginning of the regular season. Everything looks good. The team does look reasonably healthy outside of Michael Kidd Gilchrist and cannot wait, can't wait to throw the ball up in the air and the opening tip and we get this season started. Again, we will be keeping you updated with every information that we get about the team, about Jeremy, about the starting rotation or bench roll or whatever it's going to be for Jeremy and just the makeup of the team who will be starting, who will make the team as soon as we get that information. But that is it for now. We'll just keep it short and sweet, uh, as this was kind of a a wrap-up game without a a ton of drama in it. So, thumbs up, thumbs down, your comments below. We'll get put information for highlights of this game in the video description below the video player. We encourage you to come and join the Conservative New Media Facebook group which has over 4,000 members and growing all the time. You'll find information for that in the video description below the video player. Also, we encourage you to come and follow us on Twitter, where we talk hoops all the time. That information also in the video description. Once again, I am PFE Paul F. Villarreal, the NBA expert. Thanks a lot for watching Conservative Media. We strive to be the number one Jeremy Lin YouTube fan channel. Looking forward to it. What is it, six days or five days left now until we begin the 2015-2016 regular season? Can't wait, and we will talk to you again soon.